I get it, buying a 3D printer can be confusing these days. Lots of makes and models and features, everything you could do, what do you need? Well, I'm gonna lay it out for you, at least when it comes to Bamboo Lab. We're gonna talk about what each model is, the entire spectrum of, of uh, 3D printers that they offer and what you could do with them, why you might want one, why you might not want one, and maybe what one would be right for you. We'll put links to everything down below. By the way, if you hear some angry bean noises in the back, my son's getting to learn the illustrious art of drilling out screws that he has stripped. Fun times. Anyway, let's jump into it. All right, we're gonna start on the budget side of things and work our way up. At the entry level is the Bamboo Lab A1 series. Now there's two of these. There's the basic A1 and the A1 Mini. We're looking at the A1 Mini here. It comes in right now, now we're having Black Friday sales. So you, if you see this after Black Friday, I'm sorry. But right now it's $199, which I'm just gonna say, because I've been doing 3D printers since the old RepRap days. I get lots of people are like, oh, remember the Ender days? Bro, that was new tech for me, okay? Long time. This, for $200, is a screaming deal when I look back at where we started. But with what's going on today, I mean, it's still a really good price point, but here's the deal. It's smaller. It does not have what we call a standard mid-size plate, uh, which is 256 by 256 by 256. This is a smaller build plate. It's only got a single support arm. The print quality is still really good, but unless you are on a super tight budget, you just want to just dip your toes barely into 3D printing, or maybe you're buying it for a young kid or for educational purposes or something like that, there are better choices. I realize the price point's really intriguing, $199 for a 3D printer from what is arguably the best 3D printer company out there. Uh, and we can have a debate about that, but I mean, for the complete ecosystem system that is Bamboo Lab, that is a really good deal. Now, if you want the four color option, the fact is it has a four color option. You can step up to the mini combo for $329. So for $129 more, you get this. And we will talk about the AMS systems later in the video. All right, then we step up to the A1. This is just not the mini, just the standard one. At this point, you're getting the full 256 by 256 by 256. Now on the other one, build volume on this is 180 by 180 by 180. So as you can see, it is significantly smaller than the 256 by 256 by 256, all right? So if you want that bigger build size with a machine that's got, you know, it's got the dual arms on, and you're still talking a bed slinger. Now bed slinger means the bed moves back and forth. On all the ones after this, they're what's called core XY. So the head moves left, right, forward and back, but it does not move up and down. Uh, uh, the plate moves up and down on these, the plate moves back and forth, whereas the head moves up and down and side to side. Core XY is considered better because when you get to taller prints, you don't want that print shifting back and forth real fast because it can be an issue, all right? So you're looking at 279 here for the base unit or $100, only $100 more to step up to the full size unit. You're gonna get slightly better build quality you're gonna get a better build machine, uh, and you're gonna get a lot more build area. I think it's definitely worth the extra money. It's $79 more to step up to this from the A1 Mini. Uh, I really generally do not recommend the A1 Mini just because you will be bummed about the build size. It will be a constraint, because part of the reason is everyone out there building models, ready to print models, they're all assuming you've got a 256 bid build area because that's kind of the middle of the road, kind of the standard these days. So if you've got something smaller, then you got to pare things down. You're going to have to mess with stuff. If you can, I get it. If you're on a tight budget, I get it. But if you can, this is the one where I would start, okay? Now, let's keep going. Now we're going to get into the traditional core XY. And this is really kind of the heart of it. This is the, call it the, the Toyota Camry of, or of uh, 3D printers. This just came out from Bamboo Lab. It's the upgrade, it's the P2S. Their P1S was the, kind of the gold standard for that middle of the road uh, Goldilocks zone, if you would. Right now, you can get the combo for seven for $800, $799, and the base unit is $599. This is a fantastic unit. You're getting a five inch touch screen. You're getting AI de failure detectors. It's gonna tell whether the print has started to fail or string or all sorts of stuff, and it's gonna stop the print and let you check on it. All right, you've got uh, auto flow dynamics calibration, multicolor printing capability, cold air cooling as well, which is, again, it's it, when you start dealing with stuff like PLA, that becomes an issue. It's got the 256 by 256 by 256 build volume, 
All right. And then with the combo, you now you're stepping up and you're able to do four color. I really recommend the four color, the, the AMS. It just makes life so much simpler. There's so many reasons why we could talk about it in another video too much to get into here. But now as far as the previous version, this is the previous version here. This is the P1S. I still say it's a great printer. The downside, it, it has a terrible screen. The screen on it's just terrible. It doesn't have all the AI detection, everything else, but you're still getting that exact same build plate, pretty much the same size body. Close, not exactly, but close enough. You still have the option for an AMS. You can get the basic AMS for 550. For 550, that's an just an insane price on the kind of quality here. Also, you'll learn there's types of filaments that require an enclosed body, all right? So, and just for stability, it's just better. I only will do fully enclosed printers at this point. Highly recommend this one if you don't mind the screen. Now you can take your phone and you can do a lot of the stuff on your phone. There's a handy app, fantastic app, all right? And you can manage all sorts of stuff on, on your phone. So you don't really need to use the screen all that much but the screen is nice to have. I will say that, all right? But as I said, as you saw, I've got a few of these, all right? Uh, and then you can step up to the AMS2 Pro uh, for $619. And for a difference there of $70, I don't know, that's a choice you really need to make for yourself. Also, I should point out, you have the option of getting the AMS Hub, which will allow you to connect four, yes, four AMSs. That's 16 colors. And you can do that with all of these. And we're gonna talk about that when we talk about the AMSs, all right? So that's a really good option. But at that point, you're like, well, at 619, I'm not that far from the PS2. So it's hard to say you have to get the older one, all right? But real quick, let's talk about the P1S because a lot of people are gonna say, well, you should get the Elegoo Centauri Carbon. And I like the Elegoo Centauri Carbon. There's issues with multicolor. Don't expect to get multicolor with it, but it can print carbon right out of the box. You need a steel hot end, hardened gears, all that. And this isn't gonna get it for you. You I mean, you're looking at the Centauri Carbon's 280, this is 400, but for $30 more, you can get the upgrade that allow it to do all the same thing the Centauri Carbon can do. And you can add an AMS and you can do all the bamboo stuff with it. So again, you gotta make the decision based on your pocketbook and your needs, all right? Now let's step up, we're getting serious. This is the Bamboo Lab H2S. And at this point, much bigger build volume. This is a beast of a 3D printer, 340 by 320 by 340, multicolor again. So the same kind of options with the AMS. Actually, let me get over here to the right one, there we go. $1,500 with the AMS, 1250, so you're, you're popping 250 on top of it, which is pretty much, you're almost just buying it, but you're getting the AMS 2 Pro, you're not getting the basic one and you've got a huge build volume. You have uh, active heating and fill and chamber control and whole nine yards. This is a fantastic printer. Now I will say this, the H2 laser package. No, I don't care what they say. You don't need smoke and all that junk inside your 3D printer. Buy a separate laser system, all right? There's great laser systems on the market, all sorts of fantastic stuff. Don't, don't unless, unless you're gonna buy one item, you're only gonna buy one machine. I've only got room for one machine. Don't buy the laser system. It's not bad, it's just there's better options, okay? And this goes for any of the ones with the, with the combo. But here you go, 14, fantastic single head printer. I say single head because the next stop on our bus is the H2D. H2D, D for dual head system. I've got this one as well and it is, it's just a beautiful printer and, and everything it could do. You're looking at a slightly smaller build size, 350, I know, well, listen to this, 350 by 320 by 325. Here's the deal, because it's dual head and those heads ride on the same carriage, the head on the right, if you go to the left, it gets stopped and it can't go over there and print on that side, so you lose 20 millimeters over there. Same for the left head, when you go to the right, it can't reach all the way, so you lose 20 over there. Now what you could do, is you can put the same filament in both heads and print on both sides and make one continuous item, but you understand where that's going, all right? So just be aware of that, and that's gonna be an issue going forward to the next one also, because the upgrade for this that everyone's talking about has come out, and that is the H2C. Yes, we've got this one in-house as well. This is the 
the the top of the of the the mountain, if you would. So what this can do that other printers can't is it can actually change the heads. And the great great way of explaining this is imagine you've got you're painting and you've got a paintbrush. Instead of washing the paintbrush each time you want to change colors, you just use a different paintbrush, all right? And that's what this allows you to do with seven different heads. To fully utilize this though, you notice that AMS, it's only got four colors in it. So if you want to fully utilize it, you're going to need to get the standard ultimate set. Why do they put standard? It should just be the ultimate set. What that's going to do is going to get you two AMSs. The AMS HT, we'll talk about that later, more print heads, more standard print heads. So these are the ones that go in the changing side. These go in the one that's the static side, all right? That is going to allow you now to get full utilization out of it. It's also going to fully drain your wallet at $2,900, $2,899. I'm rounding. Blame me for rounding. All right, let's talk about AMSs. There's three of them. There's the AMS Lite, the AMS, the AMS 2 Pro. There is no AMS 2. It, so it's not the 2 and then the 2 Pro. It's just the basic and then the 2 Pro. Just understand that, okay? The AMS Lite is what comes with the A1 systems. They did come out with an update recently that does allow you to use the AMS system, the regular and the AMS 2 Pro. I would much rather use that system than these because I use a lot of filaments and a lot of filaments do absorb moisture. So you have to, you have to wet temperature and weather control them if you would. Uh, so having fully enclosed, I like to be in control of stuff. This isn't gonna get it. It's a good system, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of benefits to this. It controls it from the center, but then there's other issues and stuff. And it takes up a lot of room on your desk and it's a octopus Cthulian mess of, of cables. Nobody likes that, all right? If you're, on a, if you're on a budget, I get it. Otherwise, go with one of these, all right? Or actually go step, because I mean, look, it's a difference of 239 to 279. The difference between this and this, this, if one of the, the pathways breaks, to replace the tube, you gotta take the whole thing apart. This one, the tubes are right at underneath the reel, so you just pull it out and put a new one in. Much easier to maintain. Also, the part where the filament goes in has been reinforced, and it's got filament drying built in. You can plug it into the wall, and this will act as a dryer as well. That leads us to part three, which is this one. This is the AMS HT. This is great if you're dealing with those engineering grade filaments, carbon fiber, stuff like that, up, up above the basic PLA, PETG, that kind of stuff. This also is great for that, the H2D and H2C, where you have that fifth spool, if you would. This allows you to get automatic feeding in there and control in the whole nine yards. It's on sale right now, normally 159 down to 129. It's a really good unit, but again, you have to be in a situation where you're going to use it. All right, I hope I've explained everything to you. Basically, uh, the, the short of it is, don't really recommend the Mini unless you really have a specific use case for it or you're on a really tight budget. The A1 itself is a great place to start. The fully enclosed ones are fantastic. Only step up to the H series if you've got the money, you can afford it, and you're really gonna max it out and you need that extra size. They're big, they will take up a good portion of your desk. The PS2 is by far the sweet spot, but if you're a real bargain hunter, the PS1 still got what it takes and it can be upgraded. So consider that. Anyway, links to everything down below. Again, if you have any questions, put a comment down there. I will try and answer it. Hope you all have a great Thanksgiving. If you like what we do here, go ahead and chomp the old like button, smash that subscribe, ring the bell on the way out. You all take care, God bless, and as always, shine on.